in today's session we will learn about magnetic hysteresis hysteresis actually means that lagging behind so in magnetism the hysteresis curve is a plot between i and h so what is i and h i is the magnetizing intensity or intensity of magnetization and h is the magnetizing field a curve which is we plot between the intensity of magnetization i and the magnetic field is known as hysteresis loop now if we know that a ferromagnetic substance when kept in a magnetizing field gets magnetized or it also becomes a magnet now if you increase the magnetizing field as shown in the figure initially like here from o h is increased you can clearly see so it has been observed that when h is increased i also increases it and it is shown by the curve oa so oa so in the beginning when the field is increased the intensity of magnetization i also increases with the magnetizing field the intensity of magnetization of the given ferromagnetic specimen increases with increasing magnetizing field but after certain a point though there is an increase in h i will not increase and that point is called as saturation in this figure i have shown that the point a as the saturation saturation is reached that means that further increase in h will not increase i now let's see what happens when you decrease h when you decrease h i also reduces as shown in curve ab on upon decreasing h i also reduces but at point b from this graph it is very clear that h is zero at point b but i is has not reduced to zero that means the intensity of magnetization is lagging behind the magnetizing field though h reduces to zero i does not become zero at b that's what i have written here when h is decreased i also decreases but does not become zero at h equal to zero so if you take at point b h is zero whereas i is not zero so the residual magnetism set up in the material is called as retentivity an important term so this residual magnetism ob which is left in the material when h is reduced zero is called as retentivity so we can define retentivity retentivity is the value of intensity of magnetization behind the magnetizing field during the magnetization on uh, Uh, during magnet uh, so i can say uh, uh, like i'll define it the value of intensity of magnetization of a material when the magnetizing field is reduced to zero is called retentivity of the material there are two terms here one is retentivity another one is coercivity so later on i'll tell you what is coercivity now we are still here to make i zero we have to apply h in the reverse direction now so we have to reverse the magnetizing field as shown in figure so that's what i have written here to bring i to zero or it is not magnetized it should be demagnetized so i'll just correct here to demagnetize this just make a correction here to demagnetize completely zero means reduce to zero or to demagnetize because it's a magnetic now to magnetize completely to magnetize or uh, to demagnetize completely opposite magnetizing field is applied 
and this field is represented by OC and this field is known as coercivity. Two important term here, one is retentivity. Retentivity is the residual magnetism left when you reduce the magnetizing field to zero. Coercivity is the reverse magnetizing field which is required to bring de to demagnetize the substance or specimen completely. Now even you can observe that when H is reversed and increased in the reverse direction at one particular point I reach a saturation that means though you increase H I will not increase. So at point D it shows the saturation in the reverse direction. Now on upon reaching D if you increase H in the opposite direction again the curve follows the path D A F A and it closes at point A. So we get one complete cycle. So this graph O A B C D E F A represents one complete cycle of magnetization and demagnetization and this is called as hysteresis loop. So I can say that the lag of intensity of magnetization behind the magnetizing field during the magnetization and demagnetization of a ferromagnetic specimen is called hysteresis. Hysteresis actually means this lagging behind. So here after learning this we can define hysteresis, hysteresis loop, retentivity, coercivity. And this hysteresis is very important in selecting the material for electromagnets and permanent magnets depending upon the hysteresis curve or how much is the area under the loop. By determining this we can easily select a material for electromagnets or permanent magnets depending upon the quality required. For example, uh, when you select a magnet for permanent magnet it should have high retentivity, high coercivity and high permeability. Whereas if you select a material for electromagnets it should have low retentivity because electromagnets are not permanent magnets so we don't want uh, to retain the residual magnetism after H becomes zero. That is why we have to select a material with low retentivity. Now I hope you understood this curve. So here just I'll repeat once again. OA represent the initial magnetization that means when H is increased I also increases. And at point A the specimen reaches saturation. That means if you further increase H there is no increase in I. Now on reducing H I also reduces but when H reaches 0 I does not reach, reach 0 that means even though you remove the magnetizing field completely there is still a residual magnetism left out and this residual magnetism left out in the material is called as retentivity. Now to reduce this magnetism residual magnetism to 0 we have to apply H in the reverse direction. And that magnetizing field required to bring I to 0 which is represented by OC in this figure is known as FA and one complete cycle of magnetization and demagnetization completes here and we get this loop called hysteresis loop. So I will just write the definitions for retentivity, coercivity and hysteresis loop. First we will write hysteresis. First we will write hysteresis. The lag of intensity of magnetization the lag of intensity of magnetization behind the magnetizing field behind the magnetizing field during the magnetization and demagnetization during the magnetization and demagnetization during the magnetization and demagnetization of a ferromagnetic specimen
is called hysteresis. Retentivity. The value of the intensity of magnetization of a material when the magnetizing field is reduced to zero is called retentivity of the material. The value of I, right? The intensity of magnetization. of a material comma when the magnetizing field is reduced to zero is called retentivity of the material. Next is coercivity. The value of reverse magnetizing field required so as to reduce residual magnetism to zero is called coercivity of the material. The value of reverse magnetizing field required to reduce the residual magnetism to zero. to reduce the residual magnetism zero is called the coercity of the material is called coercivity okay now the important one more important thing here is the area under the hysteresis loop is directly proportional to the energy loss during complete cycle of magnetization. The curve plotted for a ferromagnetic specimen between I and H is called as hysteresis loop. The area under this loop gives the energy lost during one complete cycle of magnetization and demagnetization. So we can just make a note of that point also. You know what is hysteresis slope? The curve plotted for a ferromagnetic specimen between I and H is called as hysteresis slope. Next I will write the area under the area under the hysteresis slope the area under the hysteresis slope is directly proportional to the energy loss during complete cycle of magnetization. So here Here one thing should be made clear like because the area gives the energy loss during complete cycle of magnetization if we have a case where a repeated magnetization and demagnetization occurs then we have to choose a material which has a very thin hysteresis slope or less area because then in that case the energy loss will be less that is actually the case of electromagnets in electromagnets there is uh, repeated magnetization and demagnetization taking place that means when the current is passed the substance get magnetized when the current is removed it gets demagnetized so there is a repeated cycle happening and in this case we can select a material with less area of hysteresis loop 